I'm gonna make you watch me pant and huff and puff all the way to the top. I damn near had a heat stroke right there. Ugh. I'm loading the camera. I'm tired of this business. My job sucks. wife tells me to wear sunscreen so this is this is sunscreen Just as I'm cruising along here, I'll just stop and glass these massive bases like this here. Um, then I'll get up on the top and glass into some more. So just always moving, always glassing. Decent little buck. Right, give him a minute to kind of scurry over. Probably not a buck that I would really want to go after. Scurry around, see what we see. Probably what I'm going to do is get up on top where I can kind of walk out a couple of different points and just park the four wheeler and just find somewhere like this that I can just watch and glass and see if I can catch some antelope coming in. And then just ease up to the next one. Glass looking. It's really hard to want to hike too much in this heat. I mean, yesterday was 101. So we'll see what it is today. Few little bucks there. It's good to see. Always amazes me how desert mule deer survive because it's so bloody hot. Antelope, I kind of get it, like because they're antelope, right? But mule deer, and there's man, there's just nothing for shade. A few pockets here and there. Road hunting Joe this on out. This is where it'll crest out on the top up here. Making sure there's no rattlesnakes. I just want to get to this little edge down here so I can look into these two basins. There's one over here. this side 
side of this ridge. I'm all set up. They gotta stay this side of this little ridge right there. If they do, it's 300. So I'm trying to stay down. They're coming right up the trail. They just gotta stay this side. If they go to that side, I'm gonna have to haul butt over there and try to catch them on that other ridge. But who knows? I crawled through there. So they couldn't see me. Looks like a pretty good buck. He's definitely aggressive. Whether he's super big or not, doesn't matter. You let him go to the other side, right there at the last minute. Hold that over here. Just stay high. I can't. I don't have time to get down the road. So stay high, and maybe they'll ring around. Just came down from there. I think they're still over there. This rock outcropping. I was able to stay behind. So I'm gonna creep up on top. See if I can see. They should be coming around that hill. Looks like they were really high. So they could be two, three hundred yards. Maybe five or six hundred yards. Get up there.
I can't tell where I hit him. I hit him in the ass or I hit him perfect because he just slunk. He gave me just two seconds too long. The old Tika. Okay. I'm gonna get everything put back away here. Put you guys away and get over there to him. Get a quick look and get him, over, get him processed. It's too hot to mess around. A couple stogies. Not that I want to cover up my Tika. Well, this one's strong enough to handle it. But I can lay it anyway. Alright. I think I got everything. It'd be a bad day to come across a rattlesnake now. Been a day or two since I got myself an antelope, I suppose. I so. I couldn't have put him in more of a direct sunlight. Uh, he's not bad at all. Nice. Yep, I hit him in the ass. Quartered away. Right out the front. Quick way to make him dead. Snapped a few photos. Now I'm just gonna get to work. I'm just gonna quarter him off, leave it on the boat. Brand new set of game bags, huh? Backstrap and tender lines. Hind quarter. What's this one? Front quarter. This must be the other hind. Front shoulder. Fortunately, antelope aren't too big. Lenses, batteries. Put those up top in case I take a spill. I'll bet I made that look good. Ugh. I'm gonna make you watch me pant. I have to pop all the way to the top. I'm gonna do like two and a half hours of me just actually hit better on two hours. I damn near had a heat stroke right there. <sighs> See, if I'd had a cameraman, I could have caught the whole drama of me just pouring water and just laying right here underneath my quad for 20 minutes. Ugh. I'm loading the camera. I'm tired of this business. My job sucks.